What's going on guys? We're gonna oh wow my hair is messed up. Okay. What's going on guys? We're gonna be starting here in just a second. I just gotta Alright. Once I load in, hopefully everything's looking good. So I've already gotten the franchise set up. As you can tell, we're doing the dolphins. So unlike some other YouTubers, I like to select advanced week. We're just gonna wait for this guy to stop talking. Uh, unlike some other YouTubers, I like to actually start in the closest possible point. So in this case, the these are my settings here. I um, I don't like to do the... Um, we're going to go six minute quarters if we even do play a game. That is, uh, weekly training, I don't do everything else I do completely. That's not what I was actually looking for, but... Um, we're going to turn down the volume of the game a little bit. I should have had that set before. Where's this volume settings? Am I being dumb about this? Alright, whatever leave it so we're gonna start off I'll give you a quick look at our base team and then we'll hop into contracts because basically when you start this you're gonna want to see your overall roster right so as we can see we have some guys here you know Mike Jacecki who was in the thumbnail we have Devonte Parker there's sorry there's really nothing at offensive line um, that's gonna be the biggest thing is if you need offensive linemen, you're gonna want to draft them I know it sucks. It's not like the big star positions, but you're gonna want to draft. so like Devonte Parker here If we can hammer him down for a five-year deal Hopefully he'll get up to the 90s if he can be in the 90s around 30 then we'll be happy You know Alan Hearns is there, but I'm not thinking much of him uh, And then you got Albert Wilson who will definitely be gone before Devonte Parker, but nothing at running back nothing at quarterback I personally I like to start the younger quarterback and give him a chance if we don't draft one in the latest series draft. Which the most important things on the team by far are your O-line and your quarterback. On offense, you need to cover those positions. If you don't cover offensive line and quarterbacks, you can't play. Right? It doesn't matter if you have four Antonio Browns, four Julio Joneses, whatever. You won't get a pass off if you don't cover these positions. So those are they're going to be my first concern in this. Obviously, we have a lock here. I am actually going to start. I think Durham Smith is a bit younger, so I'm going to start him over Clive Walford. But Mike Jacecki, he's a lock. He's 24. Hopefully, he'll stay. Uh, Devontae Parker is a lock. Albert Wilson should be here for the majority of the time. Other than that, on defense, as you saw, we have Raquan McMillan, who was also in the thumbnail. He's 24. He's a lock on the team. We want him back. Jerome Baker, he's 23. We're going to want to... It's all about retention of play, about play retention. What how old is Adrian Colbert? He's 26, so we're gonna give him the start over Parker. But it's all about the play retention. You want to keep your best players on the team. Like here, you get Godshuck, who is still young. He's only 25, so we're gonna want to bring him back. Wilkins is a little bit older. Oh no, Wilkins is only 24. Sorry. So we're gonna want to get. We have two great guys on defensive line there. Nothing at corner. Nothing at defensive end there on the other side. As for our punter, we have Matt Hack. You know, we're going to want to keep him. Punters are pretty easy to keep around. And then returner. Normally, I'd put this to one of our rookies to get them more snaps. We're going to go over to here. This is going to be our base guys for everything. You know, Rayquan McMillan, Adrian Colbert. We're going to be putting him in slot. And then for the practice squad right now, there's not really players. But the practice squad is essential to your team. The practice squad is where you're going to be developing and getting better players upgraded so they fit your team scheme as well as so we're going to sim ahead just after the Super Bowl and we're going to start our re-signings one of these big things in re-signings is if you don't have a lot of cap space you don't want to re-sign guys like Akeem Tlaib because you can hopefully pick them up for younger what's that? Um, well that's a little bit more difficult to find but the cap space you'll see in a moment here so if I were to click on the keep to leap here, let's say I did want to resign him. Your cap room, it says 77.5 mil. That we have tons of cap room. So the cap hit is going to be how much cap you're going to lose in the next season from resigning this player. So you'll see we're going to lose 4 million 22,000. We don't want to lose that on a player like a keep to leap. He's going to be out for seven weeks. I'm honestly going to see him because he's aging if we can pick him up in free agency. So we're just going to push him out, which you just press X. And then you press A. So then we're going to get Matt Hack, our young punter. Um, one of the biggest things, as you'll see here, from this contract, we actually have a little bit more cap room because he has a cheaper contract. But you'll see the cap hit goes down per year as you resign them. So, like, somebody like Matt Hack, he's a punter. He'll be fine for another six years. 32, 31, he'll start to retire. 
which he's only 1.56. So I'm going to try to re-sign him on an $11.7 million deal. He's coming back. He's locked in. You know, uh, the rest of these guys, I'm not sure what will happen with them. I definitely want to re-sign Adrian Colbert just because he has that star dev. Dev traits are one of the biggest things in this game. If you can get a player with a great dev, you're set because they'll develop amazingly quicker. Other than that, I'm not really seeing many people we're going to want to re-sign. Always go to the end of the list because sometimes you'll get the sneaky players down here. Where you'll see these guys are out of order, obviously. But sometimes there'll be higher overall players that you did want to resign that will be there, but you just can't see them. As for other people, it's always great to sign depth. So, like, Ryan Lewis here, he's a great prospect. So, I'm going to see. He's out for nine weeks, though. Uh, yeah. We're just going to see if we can throw a cheaper contract at him. For these lower overall guys, when they're injured, you can most likely get an injured player for a lot cheaper like he didn't want to resign so and I'm not gonna franchise tag him I'm not that desperate for him as for I mean Isaiah Ford's a good player we can try to bring back Vince Beagle as well he's not really a lock so I don't want to pay him that much money we'll just see if he okay so he's gonna go to Isaiah Ford wide receiver four it's just good to have him there other than that, there's not going to be many people who I'm bringing back. Obviously, Vince Beagle didn't want to return. I don't I, I don't like how slow he is. That's my biggest thing is with corners, you want that speed. Like, Ricardo Lewis could be wide receiver 5, but I'm not going to pay $3 million or $4.83 million for a wide receiver 3. What do you mean? That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm just I'm skipping through it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when you're franchise tag somebody, the biggest thing about a franchise tag is you can see Vince Beagle here. Over two years, he wants $5.1 million. So over one, he would want $2.55. But if I franchise tag him, I need to pay him $12.7 million, which is the precedent at that position. I'm not going to pay a 71 overall that much money simply off the fact of he doesn't have a dev trade or anything. He's a decent player. But he's not going to be anything great. Like you can see he's a 36 overall linebacker in the league. Based on 71 rating. Which means there is th a chance that I can get 36 other players better than him. So I'm just not, I'm not interested in re-signing him there. Nick Needham, I mean he's young. But he's not somebody that I'm bringing back. He, he doesn't have the speed that I like. Or the man in zone coverage. So it's just really not worth it. As for John Jenkins, he's getting older. But I, he's sort of a... A stock gap player. He does want a cheap deal though, so I might. You know what? I'm gonna bring him back. He's a little okay. I'm not gonna bring him back. He doesn't want to resign. Thanks, guy. Ricardo Lewis. He's young. I like his speed though. That's one of the biggest things. Is he has the intangibles, but he's gonna. He's has a complete ACL tear. So, just because of that injury, he's not coming back. Clive Walford. I already have two tight ends who I think I'm gonna roll with. Trevor Davis. As it's the same thing with Ricardo Lewis. I mean. He he just wants a lot of money for not. I'm gonna check out his stats a little bit more. He's got decent. His release is something that I'm not too fond of, and his short route isn't great because the dot with um, when you have a bad O line, you want that quick short route. His carrying's pretty low. He, I'm gonna try to slant his contract down a little bit, but let's give him one year. Let's throw a million out of it. We'll just see if he takes it. No, he won't. Ryan Lewis, I'm just not interested in bringing them back. He's just He won't play. None of these guys down here will really play, so there's no reason to bring any of them back. So that's going to be under that. We're going to sim forwards. We'll check out our team again, assess our needs. The thing about a realistic rebuild is you'll see most teams, they're not going to go huge in free agency. So I'm not going to go out and sign the top 50 best free agents. And expect that to work. Oh, we have another injury. Preston Williams is going to be out for 28 weeks. So he's not even coming back. But Preston Williams. There's our wide receiver three. You know, he'll develop greatly. But as I was saying, most guys, like they actually have a lot of injured wide receivers. But most teams won't spend huge, huge money in free agency because they know they got to pay contracts and all that fun stuff. Right? So our biggest need right now is definitely right guard. If I could pick up any position at O-line free agency, that's going to make the draft that much easier. I will, I'm will. i fine with rolling with Josh Rosen. You know, Give him another year. 
As for defense, I we need another corner. Another corner is almost completely essential. We're going to generate the best lineup. I don't know why it does this. We're going to start Colbert, Colbert and Eric Rowe. And then Rashad Jones is injured. I'm not sure for how long. He's going to be out eight weeks. So he'll be back just into the season. So we have a safety there. Um, as for everyone else, I mean, they don't have a great roster. They have Zayvon Howard here, who will be back in 10 weeks, which he'll be our, wide, our corner one. Tankersley, I don't want him in there. Just, you know, it's not really worth it when we have a star devs. So we're going to hop into free agency here and just see the type of people that we have up here. Starting off with quarterback, of course you have like Tom Brady, Dak Prescott. I'd be interested in maybe signing a Teddy Bridgewater as a stop. We'll see how much he wants. He wants $69 million over three years, which I'm not going to do. For a quarterback of that caliber, when I can draft somebody of almost the same rate, what about a one-year deal? Just give him a one-year deal and see if he comes back. I know it's low, but, I mean, there's not much better you're going to get. As for running back, there's always some great options here. Kenyon Drake played for the Dolphins. I'm kind of looking for the one-two punch to go with it. That's what I always kind of look for, that great one-two punch. You know, I love guys like Peyton Barber. Elusive back, he doesn't want a lot of money. And he wants to be here for three years. Jay Ajay is another one. Which I kind of like the frame of Jay Ajay a little bit better. He's just a bigger back, and I think overall his injuries, his toughness and injuries is 76. That's something big to look for. We're going to see catching is a 67, so Peyton Barber. Always look at the stats and try to fit it to your game. So, like, his injury is a lot better, so I might pick him up, but his catching is a little worse. Always look at the stats of the people you're going to pick up, because you don't want to just be picking up. Like, I'm not just going to go sign Austin Eckler. I might, though. I do like his play style. Speed, he's got great speed. His trucking's not the best, but his catching's great. We'll throw a bit in for him. I like to use my running backs a lot. He wants 33 million. We're a little bit higher. So where we're at 93, we can actually drop this contract down a little bit. All right, we're gonna be in second place for him. Austin Eckler would be a great pickup for the team. Other than him, we're gonna get just a low, a lower side back. Maybe a David Johnson or somebody like that. Someone to compliment that. I, do, I did pick up Jalen Richardson in our other rebuild, so I'm not going to try to use him much. Um, maybe an Isaiah, an Isaiah Crowell. A Malcolm Brown, power back. Pick him up for two years, possibly. 5.7. He doesn't want much money. We're going to be the top in on him, probably. Fullbacks. I, I feel like I can draft one in the draft, so I don't need that. Wide receivers were set. We are going to look at who's here, you know, just a couple of guys and see. Josh Gordon would be a great pickup, but uh, the Cowboys will always overpay for wide receivers. Tight ends, we don't need one. Left tackles, here's where it gets interesting. The thing about playing the game like this is you don't want to waste too much money picking up guys like Ben Jones or Graham. I mean, Graham Ga Glasgow does have a bid on him, so it could be a nice pickup. Or Marcus Gilbert. If you overspend on him, you have him for one year at best. So I'm actually going to look into getting Ben, not Ben Jones, sorry. I'm going to look into getting Graham Glasgow to see what kind of contract he wants. He's 28. Linemen don't regress too hard until they hit their 30s, like 32 normally. So if I can get him on a cheap deal that's going to keep us above 50 million, I'd like that. I doubt I'm going to get him for above 50 million. We're going to throw, we're going to throw that at him. He wants it. Okay. That would be a great position to fill at O-line. It would make it a lot easier for us. Of course, we have a Moss there, 25, and Stedler. At D-Tackle, we have God Shuck, which would be nice to get a backup for him. And Yannick Ngakwe. Like, Yannick Ngakwe, you can see that... I'm just going to throw the bit... I'm not even going to want him, but... You can see, I'm trying to give him 32 mil, and I'm not even close to beginning, so I'm not even going to try to bid on him. Maybe a Nadomigan Sud to be a backup down the middle. DJ Ryder's there. Malik Collins, he's young. And one of the biggest things is you can see just beside the position there, it says he's a scheme fit. Getting scheme fits is the biggest thing for your team. If you can fit into a scheme fit, like Ashawn Robinson is a scheme fit for me. He's young, but I'll never get him because the Cowboys, once again, love to overpay for people. Yeah, the Cowboys are overpaying for him. All right, that's fine. So you can see these guys are scheme fits. Like maybe a Corey Peters who played with the Cardinals. So our scheme is run stop. I'm going to see if... Mm, I don't trust that. I don't think he's going to play into 34. 
but we're going to throw up a bid for him. He's great backup. You need to have backups who are equally as good as your starters, because if somebody gets injured, you don't want your team to be at that big of a loss. It's so like Derek Shelby here. I like Vernon Butler's game, but he's not a scheme fit as much as we want him to be. Camille Kruger Hill. I mean, uh, when I did the Eagles franchise, which I don't know if we posted yet, he played great. He, like he he knocked the lights out of the house. So let's see. Camille Kruger. He's a scheme fit, and no one's bidding on him. He's out for eight weeks. That's why no one's bidding. You see, if even if one of the top free agents is injured, until second wave comes. Nobody's gonna bid on him because they don't want somebody who's injured to come in. But Kamu Kruger Hill, I think he can develop just fine. He's a scheme fit. He's gonna take that starting spot, and then we'll move Taco Charlton over to the other side because I do like his game. And maybe we'll pick up a Jamie Collins if he's here second wave and he's not too expensive. As for corners, I mean, like Ronald Darby, you can pick up. Ronald Darby's never really there. Maybe an Eli Apple, but he's not a scheme fit. DJ Hayden was one, yeah none of these you can see none of these guys who are here are scheme fits except for maybe a Jimmy Smith which that's a, a talent Mackenzie Alexander mm, he's out eight weeks that's why they're bidding on him man coverage is pretty good awareness and toughness let's, let's throw in a bid for him and just see what Texans are offering so we'll overtake the Texans there and that'll be our corner two because once again Xavier and Howard's gonna be one Devin McCourney, we have Bryce McCain up there. Bryce McCain's here for $29 million. I'm not going to waste that contract. And as for Rashad Jones, he'll be back soon, so I'm not wasting that contract. We have great kickers. So once you're done that, you just sim to the next week. They'll pop up. So Austin Eckler's not coming. Maurice Alexander, we got Camus Kruger Hill, we got Malcolm Brown, we got Corey Peters. So we're going to generate our best lineup again just to see what we have and see if we got our guys. Obviously, didn't get our lineman, but Malcolm Brown's now stepping into a starting back role, as well as Kamu Kruger Hill should be here. No, Kamu, oh yeah, Kamu Kruger Hill's still injured, so he'll be back, and then he'll step into the starting role there. He should be back just before season. Corey Peters is the backup. That's everyone we picked up for this draft, for this set of free agents. <coughs> so when you're getting a class, if you want to be realistic, obviously you need to download from Madden Share. I advise a class that I've always used when playing. Once it loads in here, it might take a little bit to load in because it's got to load in all the classes. The 2020 Real Draft by Topol. Either that or you want to... I don't actually see the other one here. Yeah, so you're going to go with the 2020 Real Draft from Tupal 3. It's a great... Like, the guy knows generally what he's talking about. As you can see, I already have it saved, so it's going to ask me to overwrite my file. So I'm going to overwrite that one. Oh, and my cat is pulling on my cord. Okay. You'll just give it a chance to load in. And then once it loads in, it'll drop you in. So as you can see, AJ Espens is here. Apparently, he's going to be a first-round pick the way this is formed up. So this guy, you can see, this guy's a third mid-rounder. The combine grades aren't going to be out yet. So when you want to mark a guy, if you like him, you're going to press uh, Y or Triangle if you're on uh, PS3. So you're going to press Y to put him on your draft board. And then, so we want a QB for sure. I don't think, you know, Tua is going to be a first rounder. Maybe a Jake Fromm or a, J a Jake Fromm would be a good pick in a late first round. DeAndre Swift would be nice. Maybe a Jonathan Taylor or J.K. Dobbins we could pick up. Cam Akers late. It'd be great to get another running back. So, when you're going through, you can see these grades. So, these grades are not graded balanced off of the NFL. They're balanced off this draft class. So, as you can see right now, it's saying J.K. Dobbins, who's an amazing running back. You can actually see him in our Steelers playthrough. Uh, we'll put that into the chat here for our Steelers videos. There's going to be th uh, two up. One will be coming up right after this. You can see just the prospect that we got. Cam A. So... He has A carry, which means he's going to be holding on to that ball. Juke moves A minus and break tackles A minus. That is compared to the other running backs in this class. So he has that in comparison to DeAndre Swift and Jonathan Taylor. As for fullbacks, I mean, you can scout them, but there's not going to be much. Wide receivers, obviously, you have your big names in the class. If you know about the class, you have like Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs, who we can't scout because we're actually out of scouting points. 
tight ends we don't need, you know, left tackles. Any of these guys can step in and play for us, really, because we don't have that good of a uh, offensive line at the moment. So, like, Isaiah Wilson, Makai Becton, just some of the big names in the class. A.J. Spencer, Uter Gross Matos, we'll scout him a little bit more. Chase Young, obviously one of the biggest. He went down to the um, Redskins, if I'm correct. Uh, as we get down here, you know, Nakon Jones. And the biggest thing is you want to scout people in these late rounds, too. So, like, Lorenzo Neal out of Purdue. He's a run stopper, 6'3", 309. That's a great prospect. So, you're going to want to try to get some guys in these later rounds. The undrafted skills, normally you won't pull much from them. But one of the biggest things, and uh, Julian Ork was actually somebody's brother. I forget who it is. I can't remember his name, but... Another thing you like to see is you can get guys here. So, like, uh, let me see if I can find one right quick. So, like, Mufasa Johnson, 6'2", 298. You can probably slide him into D-tackle in late rounds if you don't have any D-tackles on your boards. Or Craig Hitchens, 6'3", 314. If you can pick somebody up like these guys here, they can most likely fit into D-tackle. So, always look for play Like, right here, Rashard Lawrence out of LSU. He can definitely slide in. He actually played a little bit of D-tackle in college. But from his size, he can slide in and be a true form defensive tackle. Not a nose tackle. If you're playing a 3-4, it probably won't work. But like as you can see, the average size, like Derek Brown right here. The best D-tackle in the class out of Auburn. He's only 304. These guys aren't weighing like 330. Like, you know, you get people like Tadariel uh, Slayton. He's a true nose tackle. He is... 332 he's gonna hold the center for you and stop them like same thing as Neville Gilmore you see these heavier guys here but you can still get guys to slide inside same thing for linebacker here linebackers normally weigh like 230 something so like you could take Afreni Jennings and put him down there or even put him at defensive end he'll fit there too he's a little undersized but you can move guys like that around uh, as for middle you know Troy Dye is gonna be great uh, Shaquille Quarterman he played some great football this year. Michael Divity, we'll try to pick him up late. The biggest one here is corner. So I'm really looking into Trayvon Diggs and uh, let's see, Jeff Akuda, obviously one of the biggest in the class, is Levert Hill. People like that. Once you get down to here, you know, Isaiah Simmons, who's actually a linebacker, but for some reason in this class, he's going to be a free safety. Actually, I think this is the messed up version of his class. He has two, uh, two Madden classes out. And this is the weird of the two. Rodrigo Blankenship is probably the best kicker in the class. If you can pick up a kicker in the late rounds, good on you. As for fullbacks, you know, there's not much. Like, I like to have a blocking fullback, so I'm definitely going to try to scout uh, Dalvin Conley and Todd Mahone. Do not take a fullback within the first three rounds. Fullbacks, kickers, and punters do not get drafted within the first three rounds. So there's no reason to stress in order to try to grab them. It's absolutely pointless to push to grab players who you know aren't going to come. So, contract re rejected. Both of them rejected. Fifth year options. Charles Harris's deal next year. More money. And I'm hesitant to give it to him, but he was barely on the field last year. Does this factor into long-term plans? So, I like to try to pick up players like this. We're going to give him a fifth year option, which is basically you're going to be paying him the same contract wage, which can be great for two reasons. If you're paying him the same contract wage, but he did, performs great and goes and gets a dev trade or goes up 10, you owe him massive money. If you give him the same contract weight and he sort of, like, in some ways he does good and others he doesn't, he won't be wanting much more money than you're already giving him. So as you can see, all the guys that I wanted are gone. Kamu Kruger Hill, we're still on top. Corey Peters, these are all the people we signed already. We're just going to go through and see if there's any interesting prospects left. <clears throat> there's probably not. You know, Kenyon Drake is still there. I mean, we got a back, but it would be nice to get... Because Brown's a power back, right? And it would be nice to pick him up. Maybe we'll get somebody in the draft. That's what I'm sort of banking on. You see, none of these guys are blocking. Kevin Smith is a blocker, but I think we can get somebody better in the draft. As for wide receivers, not really interested in getting them. Kelvin Beecham Jr. is one. Mikey Apati. I'll throw some money at him. I'll give, I'll give him a one-year deal. 3 million. We'll give him an even 3.95. Just to get an upgrade at the position, really. These guys are guys. They're young. Or, sorry, they're old. 
but we just need somebody to step in at the moment because we need to protect our guys like Elijah Wilkinson he's a scheme fit so he will develop quickly we're gonna throw two year because he's good and can it, he oh my god he is going to be good depth there you go Jermaine Fetty. I mean I'd like to but the Giants are pretty high on him I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can pick him up these guys are gonna be good depths as well as starters okay so we're probably gonna get him we didn't get anybody at the end we did get our D tackle Jason Pierre Paul is still there Vince Williams still there uh, which you can also check out Vince Williams in the Steelers rebuild I'm gonna plug this as much as possible go down in the description below go down in the description below check out that while you're down there if you want to press the subscribe button that would be awesome because if you press that subscribe button you're gonna see more amazing content just like this if you want to see Von if you want Vontez perfect to win a Super Bowl then you don't subscribe that's right I'm pulling the dirty player card on you you know like so some of these guys here you see Pernell McPhee still here but I think we're gonna roll with Van Ginkle I'm hoping to draft somebody in the draft over top of him as for corners, we did not get our guy. He doesn't appear to be here, though. So, Janoris Jenkins, maybe we'll throw a little bit of money at him. Or, sorry, we did get our guy. He's just not here. Rodney McLeod Jr., he's older, but he's got the dev trait. But we have Bryce McCain. We have Rashad Jones. We don't need anybody here. As for kicker, we're fine. So, we, we're we trying to get some depth players and a little bit of starters in. Hopefully, they don't have to start for us. So... When you add somebody to your draft board, you're going to have to go into here, hold LT or whatever the back button is on PlayStation, and slide up to draft board. And all the guys that you scattered are going to be here. Not only scattered, but anybody you marked will be here. So you're just going to go through here, scout them all. I'm actually going to flip up here and check out some of the later round guys, like uh, Kyle Duger. I do like him. Isaiah Simmons is projected to go third round, so I'm definitely going to check him out. Uh, Jeff Akuda is projected third round for some reason. We're going to sim up a week. Let's see if we got any of those guys, actually. Accepted. Jermaine Fetty, Mikey Potty, and our right guard accepted as well. So we're going to throw them in there. And we'll just see what our team's going to look like after that. There you go. Look at that. Uh, we didn't pay anybody for running back. Why do they have so many running backs as well? Kenneth, uh, I don't think Kalen Balazs is going to do anything. But they have a lot of running backs. So we'll make our cuts into preseason. But we're getting better at O-line. Our weakest point is now Jay Davis. But... There's not much we can even do about him at this point. He's a staple. <laughs> I shouldn't say a staple, but he's here. We're going to do the same thing down here again. We're going to finish him off. So he's a third-round talent. First, uh, Levert. See if we can pick up Simmons in the second. Jeff Akuda is projected to be a third-round pick. Trayvon Diggs, Stefan Diggs' brother. Um... Only reason I scouted these two, I know I said that we had two great linebackers, but I think that we can push them outside. I really do trust that. Uh, Derek Brown I'm going to scout. Rashad Lawrence. All these later round guys. Because you don't want to just spend all your money on scouting first round draft talent. If you spend all your money scouting first round, Rashad Jones, Kenny Blarge. Okay, we're going to go check out the team now that all of our guys are back. And we're going to see who we got here. There you go. So, the only one still injured is going to be Preston Williams, who's our wide receiver three. He's out for 18 more weeks. He won't play much this season. Josh Rosen's going to be our starter as Ryan Fitzpatrick hit his regression. At 37, he hit regression, so that's still pretty good. For right now, we're going to go with Malcolm Brown as our starter. I think he played for the Rams the past season. And, uh, yeah, so that's our own line. As for defense, we got Rashad Jones back, which is awesome because he... He is getting older, so I don't think it's going to be this year, but the year after, we're going to try to draft his replacement. As for Bryce McCain, he's still young. Going to be a great player on the team for a while to come. Xavier Howard's back, our true form number one, 27 superstar. Remember, in free agency, do not spend all of your money. Don't, because you're not going to be able to resign guys like this. As for Adrian Colbert... Uh, obviously, he's nowhere to be seen. Don't know why Bryce McCain's not there. Oh, Bryce McCain can't be our starter because we don't have a corner, too. Uh, Bryce McCain, where'd he go? What, what's his overall? Okay. You know what? I think we're going to start Adrian Colbert here and move Bryce McCain to corner, two Because corners are a little bit more vital for the game. And that's where we're going to leave it at. Obviously, Kayvon Webster is going to re be replaced by Cord uh, Cordea Tankersley in week eight. 
So the free agency recap, we'll just check this out here, see who's still in the market. So all these guys are still in the market, you know, some great punters and kickers here. Mostly punters and kickers. Randall Cobb still there, Philip Dorsett, big names. You know, Marshawn Lynch could be a back that we bring in. Austin Severian Jenkins, another tight end. CJ Anderson also played for the Rams. And there's a bunch of, like, this would be a good pickup for us. He's not a scheme fit, I know, but... If we don't end up finding that corner in the draft, he's going to be there. Emmanuel Ogba is a scheme for the left end, so we might end up picking up him if we can. I just don't want to spend too much money in free agency. Never, never simulate your draft. It won't go great. So we have the first pick round five. I'm just going to sim through here so you guys can see sort of the first picks. So AJ Spenza, projected number one, went number one. Dylan Moses, number two. Chase Young went three. Trey Smith went four, and now it's our pick. I can't... Okay. I'm going to get hate for this, but Tua, he won't be available, but Isaiah Smith fits our scheme, and we're going to draft him with our pick. 76 overall. He was 15th in true talent, but we've got him at five. I still think this is going to be the pick that we need because now we have that lock at offensive lineman. So our next pick is going to be 18, which we're actually going to go to the next one. The thing about that is you want to draft at a position you need most. Right now, we have a decent quarterback. I'm not going to waste our first overall pick on him. We're going to go to our draft board here check him out. So we got people like, we could draft DeAndre Swift right now. I do not want to draft J.K. Dobbins. I'm sorry. I don't. Only for the reasoning of, I already have him. So DeAndre Swift is going to be our pick. 74 overall hidden depth. This is what you want to see. Getting a hidden dev is some, is one of the most amazing things you can find. Because a hidden dev automatically means that they're coming with either a star or a superstar or a superstar X factor. Getting a development trait like that is a game breaker. Because by next season, he could be up to an 80 or a 90 or 8 overall, whichever one. So we're going to be drafting again at 28 just from all the trades that they've done draft board. I'm not going to draft a second running back. Maybe I pull a Mackay Becton at this point. So I'm going to take the running backs off my chart. Maybe I draft a Mackay Becton. Isaiah Simmons. Pursuit, man coverage. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? Maybe a Jeff Okuda. I'm going to pull a Jeff Okuda out. You know what? That was a bad pick. I should have seen it coming. He was ranked as a third rounder. He's a 68 overall. He will come in and start for us, though, because of our injuries. And I think because he is young, I'm going to keep him in the starting lineup even once those other guys get back. Draft board. Makai Becton, obviously. Makai Becton is going to be our pick. Another tackle. Another miss. 68 overall. Actually, I shouldn't say they're a miss. In the older Madden, if you were below 60, it was bad. But in this Madden, a 68 overall, as you can see, that's a glorified starter for almost any team. That's a great... I, I don't know why I'm saying it's bad. That's a great draft pick for us. I'm going to try to chase these guys who are more towards scouted out already. Like, you see that. That's 368 overalls in a row. But that's great because those guys are going to fill needs. And, or I can trade them for trade bait. So, we're going to go to maybe a D-tackle here would be nice. Just to get the elder guys out. Or left end. Right here, we have two scheme fit left ends. Rashad Lawrence isn't a scheme fit, so I'm not even going to be thinking about drafting him much. I'm just trying to look at this. Like a Mufasta Johnson, 6'2", 298. He can get in there. I'd imagine him definitely playing the end. I don't think I'd swap him into D-tackle. Divinity, you know, Levert, I don't think we're going to need him. Uh... I okay what I'm seeing here is I think I can get Mufasa this round and then pick up Lorenzo Neal in the round after so let's just do it let's see what we get that's awesome that's a great pick even though your picks are gonna say that you reached if you got the guy that you wanted I don't think you reach unless you took somebody drafted in the seventh round as a first round pick I think we did fine here because he's a hidden dev so I think this obviously he's gonna be our start of the whole season He's going to slide into that role perfectly, and he's going to use his debt. We don't have a fourth-round pick, by the way. I should address that. The Dolphins traded that. But um, he's going to be in there. So don't draft just because you see a guy who you're like, oh, that's awesome. Draft because you see a guy you want. 
as I said, Rashad Lawrence is still there, but we don't know D tackle. Rashad Lawrence could become a D tackle. He's not a scheme fit though. At least I'm gonna look around and see who's there. So right now this is our draft recap. This is very important to look at. Make sure you're looking at who you draft already. So I'm not gonna go draft another tackle. Because Makai Becton is going to start left tackle and Isaiah Wilson is going to start. Or actually, Isaiah Wilson is going to be our left tackle. Because that's your quarterback's blind side. That's one of the most important things to protect. And then Makai Becton will be our right starter. Mufasa Johnson will stay in his position. Jeff Fakuda will be our corner three. Kyle Duger. Uh, when I spoke before about drafting replacements, I pulled uh, Kyle Duger. Give me a second here. <coughs> I drafted Kyle Duger this year. Only because I'm spotty with him retiring next year. DeAndre Swift is going to be our starting running back. So for available, you know, we got T. Higgins, Big Cat Bryant. Got a cool name. That's about it. Um, obviously, these guys aren't going to be, you know, Donovan People Jones. He's a good guy that I th think about. Scotty Phillips. I don't really need another running back. Cam Brown. You know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to pick up Rashad Lawrence, and we're going to push him into a D-tackle. 61 overall hidden dev. If we put him as our rotation D-tackle, he'll get his snaps in a season and even possibly develop. And we had to pick, like, two after. Um, draft board, I mean... You know what? I think it's time to pick Davin Coley. 65 overall, he's a blocker. Fullbacks, you don't use them much, but when you do, they're essential. So, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money trying to get somebody like that. Rodrigo Blanket Ship. Donovan. I'm going to I'm gonna pick up Donovan People Jones. He went to the Browns. 61 overall hidden. These hidden devs are perfect. Dude, this is not a bad draft at all. Until you go below a 50 or a 50, like a, a 60. Once you drop below a 60, there's no reason to. So, like, what we're going to do here is now, hopefully... You know what, Rodrigo Blanket Ship? Mm. We have another pick. We're going to pick up Rodrigo Blanket Ship just because he's on a draft board. 70 overall hidden dev. He's a kicker. That's that's good for a kicker. And then we're going to pick up that other fullback in the last round. And we actually got most of the guys that we wanted to get. Whichever one's better. Okay, so Todd McCon is going to start for us at fullback. That's going to be the end of the draft. So now that the draft is done... Uh, just take a quick look at your uh, what you drafted, you know, just because you'll see these contracts. These contracts aren't negotiated anyway; they're just the base salary. Uh, as you go down, if you like, obviously contracts get cheaper as you go down. They're all four-year contracts, so you won't have to worry about them. The way you can check how much is left on a person's contract, if you click on their player stats and contracts, you can sim down to, or you can go down to contract. So you can see that we control him through 2023. So those numbers beside, that's going to be the cap hit that we're taking in that year. So as he gets into 2023, you're taking the majority of the cap because these are all backloaded. So to speak about under the skills, you can see there that the size, size does matter. If you put someone like him against a JJ Watt, size is going to matter. Durability, that's probably the most important thing. If you can get durability going, you want players with better durability. Obviously, they'll get beat up less. They're sooner to retire. As you see into week one, your injuries are going to come back. So, Jakeem Grant's back. Danny Isadora and James Crawford. You can improve your team. Take a look at your roster. In the preseason, you have 70 people. Or 73. You carry 73 people. So, if you're going to be playing this game, watch for the people that are performing. And in these games, put your young guys in. Get them in. Get them developing. So, like, for us, I think we did draft a receiver. I'm not. Yes, we did draft a receiver. So, like, Johnson, he's going to be our second. Mm, you know what? Johnson, you're going. You're going to start. You're, you're going to start for us. I do want to get Rashad Lawrence in, but I don't know if he'll fit that well. Jeff Okuda our corner three, getting the young guys in. Kyle Duger, I want him over top of Eric Rowe. For some reason, he isn't playing corner. But, he's going to be in there over top of Eric Rowe. 
Get these young guys in during preseason. This doesn't need to be a permanent change or anything. Just get them in. And as you can see, like punt returners, get your young, get the young guys in here. This is valuable snaps that they can be using. Rodrigo Blanket Ship is gonna take over for Jay Sanders most likely. None of our young guys are there. Rodrigo Blanket Ship. I'm gonna keep Matt Hack there for specialist. DeAndre Swift is gonna be our third down. Jakeem Grant's there. Also, one of the big things, if you want a receiver to develop, put him as a slot receiver. Slot receivers develop crazy. I'm going to put Jerome Baker and then Kamu Kruger Hill. I do want, actually, I'm going to put him as a starter in there. Make sure you look through all this stuff. Just be absolutely sure. And if you can't find a guy, you want to go down here and click depth chart. And that's how you'll find uh, your young people. So this is going to be our running. We're actually going to start cutting some of these guys too. Todd's going to start here. So obviously we're going to cut Chandler and we're probably going to end up getting rid of the other guy we drafted. Probably going to drop Purine there. Let's see, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Rookie, there you go. Donovan Peoples Jones. Donovan Peoples Jones. I know he's a 61 and it's not it's not a sexy number. But he's somebody who's going to be able to come in and play and be good for you, right? You want to get these young, the young people in just to develop because you don't know. I could cheat and tell you what his thing is, but I don't want to do that because that ruins the fun of knowing. But he's either a star, a superstar, or a superstar X Factor. So he's going to be my starter, even though he's only a 59 overall. Rotation, uh, rotation. So these mean rotation left end, rotation right end. So get your young guys in here, obviously. Once again, I'm going to say that as much as possible because that's important. You need to give these guys time to develop. You can't expect them to be a 61 and push through and start for you. I mean, you can, but... Rotation D tackle. I'm going to be putting in all my young guys. Every one of them. So Mufasa Johnson's going to come in here. Jonathan is going to be our second. Actually, I want Jonathan to develop a little more than normal. Rashad Lawrence as a right end. Or not Johnson, sorry. Rashad Lawrence is going to be our starter here. These rotation bowls are important, but they're not... You know, they're they're important, but they're not the biggest thing. It's not like they're your actual starter. So you're going to want to get Kyle Duger in here as well. Duger, I don't know why I say his name like that. So we're going to push out. We're actually going to sim through some of these. Also, free agency. If you come to the bottom of your screen here, after all these injuries are here... Free agency, these are, not free agency, sorry, the trade block. These are guys that teams are willing to give up for less. So if you need an upgrade, let's say we wanted to change out for Andy Dalton here. We could pick up Andy Dalton really easily. Or if we wanted to pick up Tevin Coleman, Raheem Mostert to start for us, we could. But I'm going to roll with our guy just because I do like him. You can also post people on here. I will show you how, actually. So if you want to get rid of a player here, all you got to do, go over the player. So, like, for us, we want to get rid of these two. You have an option to add to trade block or trade away. I'm going to trade him because he's young and worth something, hopefully. We're actually going to trade both of our other ones. We're going to trade Belage. Mm. Let's keep Belage around. Trade Purine and Laird. So, the colors on the side do mean something. In the top corner of your player, you'll see a yellow, red, or a green mark. That means the interest level of the team. So, like, most people have a yellow on... Uh, Sam J. Piron, which means that you can get a decent pick. So if I go for a third for these players, they're going to be over cap room, which you can see the other team's cap room on the right and their team needs. So like the Bengals want right outside linebackers, right tackles, centers. The roster side is 68 of 75, and they have 390 cap room. The cap room is after your trade. Obviously, I mean, I picked a little too high there, but that is after your trade. So that means that can completely go through. So here, look, the Bills have 24.2 million. If we can get a third round pick, that'd be awesome. There you go. Third round pick. We traded off two guys who we didn't need, and we got a new pick for it. Donovan People Jones is going to be our third. Preston Williams still isn't back. Isaiah Wilson's our starter. Um, go through your rosters. Make those cuts. You don't need those players. The longer you hold on to those players, the more cap you waste. But do not cut the player. If you were to cut him. So if I go to here and click release, it'll free 590k in cap room, which means that I'll be able to get other players, but I'll automatically lose 60k. 
So in reality, I'm only getting back 530k. So it's really not worth cutting him. I'm not going to edit him, sorry. Um, just trade him. See if you can package him away with other players. So look, trade away. Look through the players that you have. So go through all of them. Obviously, I was there. Why do they have so many damn fullbacks? See if you can package one of these guys. If a team doesn't want him, you're probably not getting rid of him. But if you look here, that's like that's over 100k in cap room to get rid of. Jakeem Grant, Al. So like an Alan Hearns. If you wanted to get rid of him, see somebody wants Alan Hearns. So maybe we can try to swindle. Try for a third rounder. The Houston Texans kind of. Yep, there you go. Another third round pick. And now our fullbacks are down to two, which we don't really need because some of them won't make the cut. We have a thousand wide receivers. Donovan People Jones, you're staying on the team. I'll probably end up cutting one, two, three, four, five of them. And then just keeping them. We have four tight, three tight ends. I need to actually switch Makai Becton over to the left. So switching players too. You'll see he's a 68 here, but maybe at left tackle. At left tackle, he's also a 68. But you can move guys around just to see where they fit a little bit better. Like Jermaine Ifedi. I'm going to put Jermaine Ifedi at center. He's always played tackle with the Seahawks. But I want to put him at center just to see what he is. There you go. Jermaine Ifedi is going to be a 68. I don't know if he went up or not. But he's going to start at center for us. Mufasa Johnson's just a bit younger. Like here, look. For Avery Moss, we can release him and not take a single hit in cap. So we're actually going to release him onto the market. Uh, and then we're going to come over to here and look at these guys. Corey Peters, obviously, he's not going anywhere. Kamu Kruger Hill. So when you re sign a guy, you are going to take more in. Oh, that's really cute. Sorry, guys. I was distracted by my cute cat. Um, for Taco Charlton, obviously, you're not going to take as much. So, guys like this, when you see a guy who has zero and zero, that means that he's not on your roster. He's just a preseason roster guy. So, like, Jamal Davis here. He's not on the roster, so I'm not even going to waste my time with trying to cut him. Xavier Howard, $17 million to release. You cannot release these superstars. You won't have the money to do it. Jeff Akuda's our corner three. As for free safety. Nice. Uh, as for free safety, we have Steven Parker. They're, I mean, I can probably get some of these guys out of here. Like, Jermail Wiltz, I don't need him here. We're going to release him. I don't really need to have both of these guys here. As, like, Eric Rowe, I bet you I can trade him away. We're going to add him to the trade block just to see what comes up. Because we do want Kyle Duger to be our guy. Rodrigo Blanket Ship. Let's get rid of Jason Sanders. We're going to trade him away. Maybe we can package those two in a deal. Let's see if we can get rid of Eric Rowe in a deal with him. Does anybody want Eric Rowe? Nobody, nobody wants Eric Rowe. So maybe we want to upgrade a pick. Let's upgrade to the second round. Let's take one of those third round picks. Like the latest third round. Oh, they're going to be over cap space. Okay. So we want a second round pick, right? If we want to drop the 63rd pick, they're not going to accept that. But somebody might. You, yeah, so like, look. Here's a third round 76. Let's see if the Jets will take them. You want to look for the latest third round pick possible. 94. That's even later. Or no. You want to look for the latest second round pick possible, 62. Uh, Fifty-nine, forty-three, fifty-four, sixty-four. 43, 54, 64. Oh, 64. There we go. Let's see if we can pick that up from the Ravens. Nope. They're just not. They're not going to accept. So maybe you want to move down in the third, 89. Let's see if we can get an early one, maybe. A third 66, get us even earlier. No, no no team really wants that stuff. That's good. Uh, I'm not going to move back on the draft. Okay, well, I guess they're just going to sit on our roster for now. Just because there's not much we can do with them. But we're not going to play these games. They'll automatically get their snaps out. So you can sim up a week, upgrade players. 
Upgrade your plays when you can. So, like, Ryan Fitzpatrick at 37 is still upgrading, apparently. Which I didn't expect. But we're going to get his points into a scheme fit. Look at the... Look at him. Look at the guy. Look at that beard. Does that not just scream that he's the best quarterback to ever play the game to you? Don't take that seriously, please. Don't take that seriously. We're going to sim to week four. And then we might actually play a game in the season. I'm not 100% certain. So, like, look at these guys. Everyone here. All Donovan People Jones. You can see here. I actually skipped past it. But once I give him his upgrade, you can see it. I I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> but you'll see that there um how many snaps I get. I'll show you once I go into the um menu there. You'll see that. I you know. Cause I'll show you what it is. Cause it, once they get 500 snaps, that is their dev like their dev trait being unlocked which proves them they can upgrade more did you just wake up toby korea tankers league we're actually gonna upgrade man i i like man coverage teams a little bit better i do play a lot of man coverage when i play and then for him we're gonna go with physical for isaiah ford put him up to a 71 overall i'm sorry if you can hear my brother in the background going oh he's, it's a better cat We'll post a picture of our cat. <laughs> Devontae Parker. All that fun stuff. So, as I was saying here, we're going to come over here to Donovan Peoples-Jones. Or even DeAndre Swift. So, you can see he's had 37 out of 500 snaps. Once he gets those snaps, it will unlock his uh, dev trait. Same thing as for, like, Rashad Lawrence and all them. Rashad Lawrence has gotten 94 snaps. Mufasa Johnson's got 94. Mufasa Johnson's still got 94 because he's the same damn guy. <laughs> um, Kyle Duger doesn't have a dev trait, so you won't be able to see it. Rodrigo Blankenship has gotten 3. Oh, no, he's gotten 12. Sorry, I misjudged it. DeAndre Swift has gotten 35. So, uh, unfortunately, DeAndre Swift is not getting the same amount of plays as everybody else. But that's just because we might have a bad offense or a bad defense. Use your practice squad to so right here, as I was saying about the practice squad, we need to cut 12 people. To get you started. I don't like to go through the list and just cut randomly. Look at your guys and see how many guys you have. So Sam Rogers, you don't need to be here. We have 84 receivers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cut after that. We don't need him. We don't need him. Andy Jones, you're gone. And then you're going to be gone. There you go. You only need five receivers. You do not need all of, like all these extra. I like to carry three tight ends. Don't know if you guys do, but I do. Obviously, we want a backup at every position. So Shaquille, Shaq Calhoun, you're gone. Nope, don't cut him, sorry. Shaq Calhoun's gone. As for left end, we got our two guys, Mufasa Johnson, our rookie. Right end, we don't really need Jonathan. So we're going to cut him. Even though it seems like he's better, we want Rashad Lawrence, so we're going to keep him in there. Left outside linebacker, he uh, Taco Charlton's actually playing right for us and starting there. Middle linebacker, you want to have three, so Calvin Munson's going to be gone. And we're going to keep Jerome Baker, our two stars here. As for right outside, we can cut one of these guys. Mm. I'm going to cut him. And I'm going to take him and move him to left outside because we technically need a left outside. We need a left outside, which means that when I go back, there should be... He didn't change positions. But one of these guys isn't going to be here. That, that's just what it is. As for free uh, corners, one, two, three, four, five, you need to have all five. You don't play five sets, but you need one for injury. Adrian Colbert, I'm going to try to trade him. Him and Eric Rowe, possibly. I want Kyle. Okay, I'm going to see if I can make a trade out of these guys. Instead of just losing out on them, I'm going to see if I can trade them off. So, Adrian Colbert, Colbert, let's see if anybody wants any of them. They do take quite a bit of cap combined, so we're going to need to find a team with a bit of cap. I will literally trade these guys for anything. Let's take a fifth. Like, if you give me a fifth, I'll be happy. Look at that. We're going to get a sixth round pick for these guys. I'm 
going to take this chance. Just a quick break. Uh, if you guys want to hit up any of our socials, those are going to be down in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, we need to cut three players still. So we're going to cut our two punters. I do. I, I want Jake Rudock here, though, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we have Fitz Magic, so that's going to be all of our cuts. But as I was saying, if you guys want to go down below and you want to get on to our Discord, if you want to get on to our uh, Steam, not Steam, what am I talking about? Twitch. If you want to get on to our Twitch, you can find us there down in our Discord. When you join, you'll go into the link. There will be tons of links for you to see. Um, there's going to be the rules page, which is going to be the same rules that are going to be linked on our Twitch account. As well as you can talk to us. You can communicate with us. There's voice channels. There's text channels. You can ask us questions. You can send in requ uh, requests and ideas. There's all that fun stuff. So if there's a game that you want to see me or my brother Andrew play. Who's not with us today because I'm streaming Madden. You can put that in the Discord. And we will do our best to get that content out. If you want to. Let's say we're posting videos. And generally you want to see more Madden videos than we're putting out a week we do do three videos a week but maybe we're doing one Madden video a week and one of another video one of another or we're doing two of something if you want to request Start more Madden videos you put that in there that's probably going to be the best way to meet rewards, us so coming in here into the regular season you're going to see you have your season goals here so as for this team you can see your schedule on the side look at that truly look at that and judge how many games you're going to win because we're not beating the Rams, the Chiefs, the 49ers. We'll probably beat the... We probably won't beat the Bills, Chargers, or ours, Jets, things like that. So we're going to copy for four wins. As for, like, the X-Factor quarterbacks, you also want to answer these. Because these could be a player or a coach talking to you. Because Tredavious White on the Bills, he's going to be shadowing our receivers all game. There might not be a better man-to-man -man corner in football. His ability to break on the ball is ridiculous. And there's a good chance this guy makes us pay for throwing his way. How do you want to handle him? Whenever you see these, if you want to commit to neutralize them, sure, you can try that. If you want to commit to slow them down, which is what I normally do, you can do that. If you commit to neutralize them and you're succeeding, that is the biggest boost. If you commit to slow them down, that's a medium boost. There's no boost for disregarding them. So the biggest thing is to commit to slowing them down always, and that will most more than often get you that boost. I keep, I'm sorry, I keep dis disconnecting my controller because my cat's laying on the wire, but... Beat the Buffalo, throw one or fewer interceptions. As for upgrading players, always upgrade your players. You can see all these guys are getting upgrades. So Donovan People Jones, again, you can see that he has a good dev trait because he's skyrocketing in comparison to everybody else. Andrew, check how many people are. Cool. He's skyrocketing compared to everyone. Josh Rosen, our starting quarterback. Of course, we want to develop him. I'm probably going to replace him after the season unless he does something great. Rodrigo Blankenship, starting kicker. I'm going for accuracy because I'm terrible at kicking. I'm going to be outright with it. You guys will see that in the game we play because we are about to play a game. You know what? We're going to play the Bills. We're going to play the Bills. That's what we're going to do. Albert Wilson, we're going to throw an upgrade into physical because we want him to scheme fit. And he goes up from it, so we all benefit. And Bobby McCain at safety. Hybrid. All right, so we're actually going to play the first game. We're going to do a quick chat moment, actually. So, uh, we're going to look at our schedule right quick. The rest of it, we will be simming through, but we're going to look at our schedule right quick. Out of the first four weeks, what games do you want to see played? The Bills, the Chargers, the Jets, or the Jags? Which one of these four would you like to see played, once again? The Bills, the Chargers, the Jets, or the Jags? We're going to be at home versus the Bills, at home versus the Chargers, at home versus the Jets, and away for the Jaguars. I'll give you guys a couple minutes here just to vote and then I'll start in about two minutes if there's no comments we're just gonna play the bills so we got an injury Malcolm Brown's out completely he took a uh, complete MCL tear uh, Pre uh, Preston Williams will be back in two weeks so that means that we now don't have a backup too we don't have a second running back so I'm probably gonna end up going to pick up one out of free agency here so, we're just going to see who there is here. Either that or... No, not quarterback. Halfback. Uh, 
Boston Scott fits. Boston Scott, 91 speed. I do want to check out his carry. He's got good carry. Break tackles, good spin move, juke move, catching. You know what? We're going to pick up Boston Scott at the free agency on a one-year, $2.3 million deal. Uh, we'll put him in the lineup and see where he lines up at, see what, if he takes any positions. Boston Scott, I want to put him in. I'm just not the biggest fan of uh, Donovan People jones He's going to start. Not. I'm, I'm a big fan of Donovan People jones That's not what I meant to say, but... I'm just not the biggest fan of um, Kenny Balazs. Don't really want him in there, to be honest with you. I gotta recreate my whole lineup now because I just did that and that was dumb as hell of me to do. Glad I just did that, honestly. Rodrigo Blank. Oh, put him up one more. Blanket ship. I'm still not seeing any remarks on who you guys want to see as our game played so I'm gonna give you another minute while I reorder this and then you will that'll be your vote that'll be the end of it and we'll just play the first team who comes along I just gotta fix all this cuz I just messed it up again I'm sorry guys that's completely on me slot corner Jeff Akuda sub linebacker Kamu Kruger Hill we're gonna give him the snaps there you know what Kyle Duger Kyle Duger is going to be our sub linebacker. Rotation D tackle. Obviously, we want to get Lawrence in there. Sub linebacker Duger. Oh, I went backwards. Whoops. Right end. Mikel Johnson. Rotation left end. Rashad Lawrence. Oops, missed it. The only reason I'm doing what I'm doing is I don't want to completely get these guys out of here, but I do want to. Slot receiver and Donovan Peoples-Jones is going to be our slot. Power halfback is obviously Kenny Balazs, unfortunately. Third down running back is going to be DeAndre Swift. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to go with. All right, uh, I didn't see anything in chat, so we are going to play this game. Of course, we're going to go, we're going to edit our uniforms. I like to go with the, uh, where are they? I like the all-whites. I think they're smooth. We're going to put these guys in their current home jerseys. We'll start this off here. Yeah, so this is the game they want me to play. This is Madden 20 on Thank you, coach, from beautiful South Florida. <laughs> Before we start here, I'm just gonna grab a quick drink. I'm just gonna pop these off so y'all don't hear me drinking. That was a pretty bad kickoff. Oh no, it was decent. Hit the field goal post. Come on, fellas. I'm actually gonna pop all these headphones off. So my biggest thing when playing is I like to use her a middle linebacker just because I'm good at it and it helps with the run protection. Like right there, just automatically busting through and getting the tackle. <laughs> So one of the biggest things is you need to know what type of defense your guys are meant for and how they play. Like Kyle Duke, if you play safety, but he's in a linebacker form. You need to know what type of defense you have. So if you're a zone defense, don't play man defense calls for them. So right now the Dolphins are a zone defense team. Play zone defense. Don't force your team to play something they're not going to be good at because that's going to make you overall weaker as a team. Because no matter who you have in, if you're playing your fit, that's my zone. I'm sorry. If you're playing who you fit, you will automatically do better. 
We actually hurt Cole Beasley, unfortunately. You don't like to see that, but... And try to mix up the zone plays. So, like, here you'll see me doing a different zone play than I've done the whole time. But that's because I don't want them to get used to it. And... Because the CPU does get used to it. The CPU definitely gets used to plays you're doing. If you're doing the same defense over and over and over, it'll start accounting to that and running quicker plays if you're blitzing a lot. Or if you're not blitzing, then it'll really do run plays and all that fun stuff. So try to get a good mix of that in. Try to get blitz plays in, all that fun stuff. So, like, you'll see me going to do a blitz play here. I'm going to drop Bryce McCain down a little bit to guard in case this running back breaks free. And, oh, and I completely missed him, but we forced a pass because he was under pressure. That's all you can ask for. There's our draft class once again. As you guys all saw, we took two people out of Georgia, which I didn't realize. Pick after pick action. We're going to go back into here. So the X factors are huge. They have AJ Green, actually, which I was not expecting them to have. They ended up picking AJ Green up. Check the X factors as we're going through. So if you see that they have an AJ Green at uh, wide receiver, right? Mend your defense to that. Make sure that your better safety is playing on that side. So if your better safety is your free safety, the free safety is traditionally on the left, to my knowledge, and the strong safety is on the right. Make sure you are using the better guys in the right positions. We're in a bad position, so we're actually going to run. Do a handoff here, and there's not much to go off of, but we don't want to get back to the line of scrimmage. And know your players. If, like, Donovan People Jones here, he's a great slot receiver. He's quick, and DeAndre Swift is quick and good at catching. And that was a terrible pass. Okay. Um, Josh Rosen. Not not a permanent quarterback. I don't want you guys to think that. He isn't a permanent quarterback, and he will never be a permanent quarterback for me. He's done. After this season, or I might even work to pick up an Andy Dalton. There was nobody open, but we could have got that drive finished if Josh Rosen threw an accurate pass to DeAndre Swift, but he just got hit. We're going to give this a big old kick and see what we can get out of it. Please don't block it. Oh my god, that's a beautiful kick. And it's going to drop dead on the 20, 18. Great kick. When you think, that was almost end zone to end zone kick. We're going to mix in a little bit of man coverage here and bring the cane down to center. Oh, wow. I almost got that pick too. I was pretty close to that. We're going to blitz. So in situations like this, blitz the hell out of them. It's normally run. But when you're blitzing, do not bring your safeties down. Keep your safeties high over top because that will happen. If my safeties weren't there, that's a touchdown right there. We're going to give them one more blitz to show them up, see if they're expecting it. Maybe get a sack out of it. Maybe get a run stop. Could be a power play because tight end's moving like that. We're almost there. We're getting there. We're just not getting there close enough. Are you sure it's not lagging right now? Okay. Just looks like it is. I'm going to draw back with Kamu Cooper Hill. So when you saw the little bubble around him, that means he was in a QB spy and the two ends are in contain. Good tackle by Kamu Cooper. Um, generally, you want to keep a running back under 4.5 yards per carry if he's running a lot, especially like the Bills do. They love the run teams. They're doing a screen cut underneath. Um... Know the team you're going against, too, on average, because the sim doesn't really play like real life, but pick up the tendencies from the first two drives, project that over the game. So if they hand it off ten times in the first drive, they're probably going to be running a little bit heavier. And I didn't get much out of that, but we're on 12-yard line. That was a decent return, got a nice juke going, we're going to hand it back off again because I just want to get out of the spot. And we really, we still really don't have an O-line, but we have a decent enough one where I'm hoping to get a thousand yard season out of DeAndre Swift. I mean, I'm always going to hope to get a thousand yard season out of any running back that we put in, but I don't know if I will. I don't know why I made that throw, that was pretty shit throw. I might end up actually swapping quarterbacks after half. Just to see who's going to be playing better here. Good throw. That was decent. Mike Jacecki's going to be catching there. 
So know your players, right? Like if you have a speed back, use that speed. If you have a power back, use that power. Don't randomly throw whoever out there. If you need to add more blockers, just add more blockers in, right? I'm going to take off. He has enough speed to get out of bounds, but all right. And like that, if you have a quarterback, don't get him hit. Either slide or get out of bounds. Quarterbacks fumble more often than anybody for some odd reason. Even if they're carrying the same as a running back, they'll fumble more than them. Just got the first down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's, they got Tredavious White on that side, but he's not going to do much. I lied. He's actually going to make the tackle. I, I say he's not going to do much because of Albert Wilson, but he literally tackles me for a loss. I love that. Mike Jacek, he's going to take off here. I'm hoping they're in man coverage and not zone. They're definitely in man coverage. Throw that off to Donovan People Jones with his first catch of the NFL season. Good stuff. I'm just trying to get some run game. I'm a big runner, so Boston Scott's actually now Donald Cooper Jones in the slot. Good juke by Boston Scott, getting three yards on the first round. Line. But yeah, so know your team strength and weaknesses. We are not a deep throwing team because we cannot make those throws. Josh Rosen can't make those throws, and Donovan People Jones can't hold on to the ball. Unfortunately, that would have been a first down thrown directly in front of uh, Tredavious White. Gonna throw this off and see what we can get. Can we get that first down? Okay, we got the first down. That's awesome. Without an O line, there's not going to be much run game against stronger teams like the Bills. Who have a good team? Throw away. No, there's not. I'm not taking a risk to get the sack on the first down. We're gonna go for a deep ish throw. Try to get it out to Parker. See what we can get done. Nope, we're going deep. Let's see if Isaiah Ford can catch it. Isaiah Ford making a catch. Got his feet down. There we go. That's a great touchdown. But yeah, I knew that, I, okay, it's a bit weird, but Isaiah Ford, he's got a lot of speed, and I mean a tremendous amount of speed, and I'm sorry, I'm spinning there, guys, I'm, I'm sorry about that, I don't know why I keep doing it, but Isaiah Ford has an amazing amount of speed, I think he actually has 93 speed in this roster cut, he definitely got that, you can see his two feet are down, come on, but yeah, he has 93 speed, and he's getting it done, so that's a touchdown, that's all that matters, is that counted as good? There you go. Count is good. Perfect. That's... Uh, I just missed the field goal. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't miss the field goal. Amazing throw by Josh Rosen for a touchdown to Isaiah Ford. That's what matters the most. You're getting them points up. Which, as you saw before, I was playing on All-Pro. I'm not playing on All-Mad because, you know, I actually enjoy um, playing the game. I'm not getting picked every two seconds. Good hit. Fortunate. Was that Isaiah Ford? Hold up. Was that Isaiah Ford? Did you make that guy? I was wondering. I'm pretty sure Isaiah Ford just smacked the guy. Isaiah Ford doing it all. But he gets a touchdown and absolutely kills the guy on a kick return. Creams the kid. This is why you get good special teams players. And I'm sorry here, my controller just disconnected again because my cat's laying on the wire. Should probably move on. Anyways, but. <laughs> but. Isaiah Ford doing it all for the team. Good tackle by Raycon Millen. Just. <laughs> I can't believe Isaiah Ford gets that clutch touchdown and then smacks the kick return. That surprised the hell out of me. I saw the, full, the 84 and just couldn't believe it. Yeah, as I said, when you're blitzing hard, they're going to start doing quick throws just like that. That throw, there was no way for a blitz to get in there. If I draw back, I would have the interception. Unfortunately, I didn't. We're actually going to send a blitz at him this play just because I'm that guy. We're going to go Baker in here. Oh, it's a pass play. Back off. Oh no. There was nobody covering the running back, right? Where it's a blitz play. 
I called a pass play, and you could see me try to audible out of it, and it just wouldn't go. That one goes so the big play changes the of things. Here's I'm actually walked onto a D1. That was a terrible throw by Josh Allen. Not sure he's going to it, but Tyler Crawford is tight end. But Kyle Duger is going to be back down here. Good throw. He got the throw off there. Josh Allen going 11 for, or 8 for 11 for 87 yards. We're going to try a little bit of man coverage here. Good ball knockout. That's third and five. Going to be fourth and five. That was a great, great stop by our safety. Came on Webster and Jones covering the side. Let's see if we can block a kick. I'm not blocking that kick. It's going to be seven to three going in. Really, the game plays quite simple. If you build a good enough team, you will win. You need to build a team that you're going to be good with. Don't just build an all-star team. Sure, I can go out and sign every 99 in the game. But if it's not my play style, and it's not fitting the team's scheme, you will get nowhere with it. So we're going to back off. Throw that up to Donovan People jones See if he can get out of bounds. Take that time and get out of bounds for it. Don't waste what I have, you know. Want to do a uh, franchise together? I'm on Xbox too. I'm playing on PC right now, actually. Uh, you're just seeing Xbox buttons because I'm using Xbox control. Great catch by Mike Jusecki. Just an amazing catch. Probably should have thrown it up like that. Um, yeah, no, I'm on PC right now. So, I wish we could. Unfortunately, we can't. Let's throw it up to him again. Mike just actually making a catch. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. If you want to join the Discord, though, I do have an Xbox that I play on my own account. Um, so, the Discord's in the description if you want to get into that. That'd be awesome. Final play of the half. Wasted it. Definitely should have kicked the football, but I was kind of busy paying attention to responding to viewers. <laughs> so yeah, go down below there, Gamer God, into the link of the Discord. Join up, and then I'll get you on Xbox, okay? Once again, that goes for all of you. If you guys want to go to our Twitch or our Discord, it's all linked in the link below. If you like so far what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to get more content like this. If you want to go just after this is over and see another great series that's in the running, you can check out our channel where we're actually doing a Steelers Real Estate Rebuild. Steelers being my brother's favorite team. I'm a Browns fan, so I kind of hate it. But if you want to see a Steelers Rebuild, that's the spot to see it. So far, it's a great rebuild. We got some killer players in the draft. We just got blown up. We got some amazing playmakers in the draft. There's some amazing clips there. Some great layout catches, which you can actually see on our Twitch as well if you want to see them right away. Let's see if we can get that throw. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Josh Rosen. Not a great quarterback at all. I'm going to see if I can get a screen to DeAndre Swift to bust for a big yardage, but I doubt it right Come on, come on, come on. Juke him. No, we're not going to make it there, but we tried our hardest. Josh Rosen not being the quarterback we need him to. I'm actually going to take this time to swap him out for Ryan Fitzmagic. Who actually has better awareness? Better trucking, too. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Trucking everybody. We've got to punt again, unfortunately. I missed that tackle. That's on me. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48. I'm just going to put in Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is the better quarterback out of the two. Josh Rosen came into the league. He just didn't develop, you know? Uh, in any way. It's not even because of his situation. He had a great quarterback coach. He had a great quarterback room with him. And we are missing every tackle. That was gross. Josh Rosen just didn't get the Ryan Fitzpatrick has been in the league for, what, 17 years, I think? Something like that. I think he's played for like 16 out of 32 teams. He's been with every quarterback you could imagine. So he's actually probably going to end up being our starter. So even though Josh Rosen is younger, I just don't think he's going to develop enough to be anything. 
Ryan Fitzmagic's going to be our stopgap and hope to God that we can draft one next year. Because the quarterback draft a year after this is pretty decent. You know, you get Trevor Lawrence, you get Joe Burrow in this class. For some reason, he's not in this one. He's in the one after. So, maybe we'll get a Joe Burrow. Maybe we'll get a Trevor Lawrence, depending on how we do this year. No matter how bad we do, there's almost guaranteed to be a team worse than us. Because the Sim does not like number one overall picks. They hate them. Ryan Fitzpatrick about to get his moment. I'm not returning this football. We're going to get DeAndre Swift on one. So, yeah. As I was saying about the X Factors, check out their X Factors. We have Devontae Parker. And then if you want to look here, so they have Ed Oliver, a D-tackle, who they drafted the past season. Micah Hyde, free safety, and Tredavious White, who they drafted the season before. Oh, this is going to be a good run, but I think that's probably going to be a you know, block in the back or holding one or the other. Holding offense. That's us. Great. Probably one of our rookie tackles. Yep. Left tackle for holding. How did I know? Why did I know that? That's my question. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be getting his first throw this season. Great throw, actually. Um, so yeah, as for our upload schedule, I do want to actually go over that, because I do get that people want to know if we're consistently uploading, if this is like a random event. We're trying to upload three videos a week, uh, at least two will be on different things, so we upload one Madden video a week normally, which is obviously not this, this isn't going to get uploaded most likely, right now this is just a live stream, uh, but we will be uploading the third episode of the Steelers series just after this video is finished so at the time right now I'll check the time in a second actually I should probably focus on playing at the moment let's just get some yards for it Nothing. yeah so I'm probably going to finish this off in about 20-30 minutes we will probably get into week 4 or 5 before I finish off and we'll go through all that and then we this will be our live streaming series this series, and we threw a pick right to him. Okay, this will be our live stream series. The Dolphins will only be live streams. We might post a sneak peek video on the channel. Um, but other than that, the Steelers are our biggest channel. Our, our big channel Madden thing. They're actually the only channel Madden thing right now. Other than that, there is going to be our videos of me playing Dark Souls going up. And soon enough, I'm pretty sure my brother's going to do a rainbow video. Or a... Um, farm sim video I know we have tape from rainbow but I'm not sure when if we're actually gonna be using that because it's kind of uh, it's not the highest quality and we want to bring you guys what you want we want to bring you guys good gameplay that you're gonna enjoy you know I don't want to bring you something that's a little bit fuzzy because it's not what this channel is about this channel is about having a good time but also creating great content for you guys to see good tackle so yeah, if you guys want to see more videos, you can check out the channel. If you want to put in video requests, of course you can. My cat just stepped on the wire again. I love that. We're going to blitz down center. Bryce McCain's coming in a little bit since we have one safety deep. And there it is. That's going to be a face mask. So they're going to be on the one yard line. Their chance for a touchdown. As well as, um, currently... The biggest issue is I am playing off a laptop. I am not playing off of a computer system such as the one that we're using on this. Uh, so it's kind of hard for us to get group content. But in the next two or three coming weeks, I'm going to actually upgrade to a standalone PC system. And then we'll really be putting out uh, dual content. So rainbow videos, things like that will be going up. And we just got smashed. Okay. Rainbow probably gonna try to get up some uh, warfare video the Call of Duty game. We got into that yesterday. We might post it. We might not. Just because it was sort of a short thing. So if you guys want like a five to ten minute video, we can absolutely post that. But if you guys like to see the longer videos such as this, then we'll keep posting thirty, like twenty five, thirty minute videos such as these. Here he 
for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Good pass on the center by Ryan Fitzpatrick. So yeah, along with this, um, the main reason I didn't draft a quarterback is because I felt that we had a stopgap for the year and that we had more important things like protecting our future quarterbacks. I need to just throw away. Mike just had to turn it back to make that. I didn't even need to throw it to him, to be honest. I meant to press it and stick to throw it away. But, you know what? If it's catch, it's catch. See if we can get, uh, I was going to do a run play. But, we're just switching sides here. Donovan People jones hopefully not going against their best corner. Donovan People jones can he get the juke off? No. Okay. I thought we were going to get a sideline catch. So Ryan Fitzpatrick is not doing bad at all. He's 6 for 7, 77 yards, 1 interception, soon to be 1 touchdown because I'm about to throw one. Oh, no, not going to throw it on that play, though. 6 for 8, 77, 1 interception. Let me check that up real quick. This camera is a little weird, actually. Fitzpatrick on the sprint. Oh, he trucked him! Ryan Fitzpatrick just trucked, uh, who is that? I'm not actually sure who that is. It's Mike Jusecki, I want you to stay in. That's a touchdown for Albert Wilson. Gonna put us up 14-10. Oh, beautiful pass by Ryan Fitzpatrick. Great catch by Albert Wilson. Gonna put us up, I think I just missed the field goal. Did not miss the field goal. That's the most important part. With 2 minutes and 31 seconds left, we just got to hold off the Bills, and this could be a win for us. I'd like to see it. Get our first, get our first season win and get into it. Because I feel like when you start the season off right with a good win, everything becomes easier after that point. Like, your team plays a little bit better. It's almost like they have more of a spirit to them. More of a spirit to them. Sorry. Oh, that was so close to being an interception. I was about to get hyped for that. If we could have got the pick six there, because that's what it would have been as a pick six. There's no way that wasn't going pick six if I caught that. Oh, you got to catch that. Come on, man. Almost two picks in a row. Jeff Akuda, our rookie, almost getting his first season pick. Our glitch D-lineman. That's going to be a throwaway by them on third and ten. Going to come to fourth and ten. We're getting the ball back, so we could potentially end the game if we can just. Oh, we are not getting the ball back. They're going to try to go deep, most likely. Kamu Kruger Hill going to draw back to guard mid from the ins and outs. Oh, they caught it. Come on. I played the man, and he just. Damn, dude. It's going to be a harsh loss. I'm going to show you guys Toby if we lose, though. If we win, I'm going to show you guys Toby, too, because everybody loves a good Toby. God damn, that makes me so angry. Come on, make that tackle. We need a pick or we need a fumble or something. So far, we've yet to get a takeaway in the game. We need it now. If we can get one, we need it now. Oh, I got hyped. I got really excited right there. <laughs> yeah, okay, just cut it right now. <laughs> That'd be so rude. Yes, there's the pick. Let's go. Let's see if we can get the pick six. That's going to be a pick six. Let's see if we can get it back. You stay the hell away from me. That's going to be our pick six. We just secured the win right there. I think that's Raekwon McMillan. Amazing. One of our star linebackers saving the game for us right there. It's going to be 21 to 10. Bills are going home on that. Rodrigo Blankenship finishing that drive right there. We're going to get a kickoff. This is the type of energy we need. Finishing the game off. We're good to go. That's a win. If we can play semi solid defense, the Miami Dolphins are taking the first game of the season against the Bills and going undefeated. Not on the season, just in the first game. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not promising an undefeated season. I'm promising an undefeated first game. <laughs> it's true. Technically, we can break that we're undefeated on the season. 
because we are all defeated. No one's defeated us. We've only played one game. Out of bounds, this goes third and ten. Josh Allen only has 176 yards. Raekwon McMillan, you want to get another pick? Or actually, Duger, you want to get a pick, don't you? No, nope, Duger, you want to get a hit, though. They're going to have to hurry up a little bit, throwing it off to Tyler Croft. I'm pretty sure the ex Bengals tight end. Good tackle. They're going to have to really start pushing themselves to get there. One play. They're just over top of center, taking their, fi their first of their three timeouts. I almost said their final timeout, but I almost lied to you guys. It's going to be 10 to 21 still. I would have loved to have a week one shutout, but that's just not. Okay, well, that was a garbage throw. Josh Allen throwing a garbage pass, just a eclipse of 200 yards. Oh, uh, this does not look good for me. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I spoke earlier about on a blitz keeping your safeties back. There was no safety back, so he ran for a touchdown. Let me just point that out. And the two point conversion, it's going to be 18 to 21. I'm upset. No, I'm taking a timeout here. You are not kicking that shit on me. 18 to 21. Three point game. We need this. We need this. This is the game of the defining moment right here. If we get this, that's game. And we got it. Just get down. Don't fumble it. 19 seconds. Miami Dolphins are going to rub it in because I'm about to run for a touchdown. By that, I'm going to waste time with Ryan Fitzmagic in the backfield. Get sacked. Lose the football. Ryan Fitzmagic running for it. Don't fumble. Do not fumble. They're going to make this game grind out because they're going to kick. They're going to take a field goal every chance they get. DeAndre Swift, the game is in your hands. You ain't performed great this game, but it's in your hands, bud. The game's in his hands, and he clutches up. But they take another timeout. DeAndre Swift, the game's in your hands. Once again, for the second time in a row, if you get this, that's game. Good stuff. That's going to be game. I'm going to time out at one second because I'm taking a field goal because I like them points. Play tight. Special, special teams. We're kicking a 32-yard field goal. And straight through the post. That's going to conclude the game, guys. First win of the season, winning 18-24. Obviously, we didn't have the best game. We gave up that late touchdown, which did scare me about the fate of the game, to be honest. It did. If I'm not lying, you're completely honest. That scared me a little bit. Obviously, Josh Allen didn't have the best game. Ryan Fitzmagic came in and made it work. That's what I like to see. That's one of the main reasons why you want to have a great backup quarterback. But I shouldn't say great. A good backup quarterback. You want to have a good backup quarterback for those exact reasons. What? So after winning that game, we're going to upgrade our guys. Like Matt Hack, going to give him more power. Because I want those cheese on game field goals. Elijah Wilkinson, going to give him the agile. A right guard, upgrading. Amazing to see. Rashad Jones, once again, upgrading. We're going to hop over here to next week. So always answer these, because these give you points. As I said, we're undefeated. That's a big brag. A little terrifying play, guys. Like, what you gotta say? See, 500 XP for all receivers just because we did decent. You know? We didn't play a great game by any word, sense of the word. Once again, Donovan People Jones. Every single week, this guy's got an upgrade. Every time. He is a monster. I upgraded the wrong thing for James Crawford, but that's fine. Mike Jacecki, our big tight end. Had an amazing game last week. Made critical catches. He didn't get 100 yards. He didn't get 1,000 yards, you know. But he made critical catches. And now for the time you've all been waiting for. Don't lie. You weren't here to see Madden. 
You were here to see him. Don't Toby stand. No. You were here to see this boy. Do you want to know what this boy's saying? He's saying that you guys like need to go down below, like and subscribe. You should probably watch both the other two match videos if you want to see how a realistic rebuild is done. Because there you'll see a draft, another draft, I should say. You'll see two episodes of realistic rebuild and two things. Oh, I gotta raise him up. He's not even in the shot. Hi. You know, come here, Toby. Come here. Look, 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 look. Tell them you want them to like and subscribe. Tell them you want them to like and subscribe. Tell them you tell them, tell them, Toby, tell them. Okay. He wants to leave now. Um so yeah, Toby wants you guys to like and subscribe. That's what you need to do. You have to like and subscribe now that my cat told you to. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into free agency and just see if we can pick up a better quarterback. There's no one here. Um, Deshaun Kaiser is actually here, which I find interesting because Deshaun Kaiser was a decent quarterback. Um... I, I kind of like Deshaun Kaiser as a player, though. That's that's my biggest issue. Because I don't want to run it. I'm, I'm going to sign him. We're going to make an executive decision that Josh Rosen's time with us is done. Andy Dalton. It could be your time to shine. Let's see if we can give them Josh Rosen, a younger quarterback for Andy Dalton. They almost accepted that. Uh, and a draft pick maybe let's see if we can give a seventh or a, a six all right Andy Dalton is gonna be the starting quarterback for the Dolphins if you guys want to see another video what you guys got to do is we're gonna be doing another live stream at some point if you want to be notified about this live stream the best way to do it is to go down in the description like subscribe Get our Twitch, get onto our Discord. Our Discord has daily updates about what we're doing, what we're trying to work on, and all that fun stuff. You might get sneak peeks of a video. You can get all that fun stuff if you just go down below. Everyone is accepted to the Discord. If you want tips, I can. We, you can message us directly. You can speak to us. You can give video suggestions. You can ask questions. I will be there to help you. If you're doing a franchise mode and you want to know, hey. Should I get this person or this person? I can help you with that. If you want to beat your friends and prove that you're better than them at franchise mode, you know who to come to. If you want to see another episode, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see. If you think we should pick somebody up or give somebody a chance, you can tell us that. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go to the YouTube channel. There will be three Steelers playthroughs after this is uploaded. I hope y'all have a great day. Let's get scary. Yeah. Now I gotta end that shit. That's what I